and travel back to your childhood self. Imagine you're in your family SUV at the beginning of spring break. You've been traveling for about an hour, but it's felt like an eternity. Your sibling whines, are we there yet? For about the 48th time. You can open your eyes. My name is Kate McCarvel, and the title of my presentation is Recruitment Road Trip. From the visual I just presented to you, you may be under the impression that I think road trips are simply miserable, but that is far from the truth. Road trips are challenging, no doubt, but in the wise words of coaches and athletes across the world, it's all about the process. Without the road trip, there would be no final destination. My personal journey through Kick It Through You and recruitment for a nonprofit such as Camp Barnabas can be described as a road trip. I joined Kick It Through University as a freshman with excitement and positivity, much like the way that most road trips start. The first major requirement of this program is the completion of three job shadows. I completed my first job shadow with Cassie Dimmick, the CEO, the lead dietitian, trainer, and running coach for Achieving Your Best, a gym with personalized fitness and nutrition. Next, I job shadowed Tara Eddy, a professor in deaf education and a teacher for a preschool for students with hearing impairments at the Missouri State Speech Language Clinic. Lastly, I shadowed former executive assistant Kristen Tippin at Barnabas Prep. Barnabas Prep is a two-year faith-based collegiate program designed specifically for students with special needs. Here, I interacted with the students as we were active outdoors and as they learned new skills in both the kitchen and the classroom. I thoroughly enjoyed all three of these opportunities, but there was one route that looked a little more appealing for this road trip of mine compared to the others. One of the most beneficial pieces of Kikuku U is the internship and capstone opportunity. I decided to complete my internship with Mike Moscow at Camp Barnabas. Camp Barnabas provides Christian camping experiences for individuals with special needs and chronic illnesses. I've actually been involved with Camp Barnabas since the summer of 2015 when I first served as a barnstormer. Since then, I've served in many different positions and made lasting connections with the campers that I've cared for. Each summer, I go with the intention of making an impact in these campers' lives, and I leave feeling as though they're the ones that have impacted me. Ever since my first summer, I knew Camp Barnabas would be a part of my life, but I had no idea it would be to this extent. Sometimes the road trip can take you to a better final destination than you could have ever imagined. I'd seen the glamorous side of camp, which was being there during the summer, but what about the months upon months of hard work that was put into making camp happen? I reached out to Camp Barnabas about an internship and was put in contact with Mike Mosco. After some mapping and routing, my plans were set. During my internship, I was exposed to the many different sides of a nonprofit organization. Due to the new school system that was put in place by SPS for all students, Camp Barnabas created their first ever day camp, which was an opportunity for the K-12 students with special needs to attend Ridgecrest Baptist Church on their online days, where they were taught and cared for by Barnabas employees. This day camp took place on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, and I joined for the last two hours each day. Here, I interacted with the students as I assisted them in completing their schoolwork, participating in group activities and devotionals, making crafts that went along with their Bible stories, playing games, and earning rewards. On Wednesday, I spent time at Barnabas' Springfield office where the essential management and administrative duties are performed. Here, I assisted the director of staff as I emailed and interviewed summer staff 2021 applicants, reviewed their applications, kept application statuses up to date and organized, and sent contracts. I'm extremely grateful for the opportunity I had to intern at Camp Barnabas and the amazing individuals I connected with. Words cannot begin to describe my gratitude. For me, this was the part of a road trip where the final destination is in sight and all passengers are jamming along to their favorite tunes. During my internship, I was able to make connections with both the Barnabas employees and the students. I was able to watch the students grow and progress as they gained new skills, and that was due to the flexibility, empathy, patience, and caring nature of their teachers. My eyes were open to the very specific qualities that are needed to be successful and impactful in this career field. My eyes were open 
probed even further on Wednesday as I spent time at the office and noticed the detail that went into selecting these 2021 summer staff applicants. These summer staff applicants were typically college-age individuals. However, finding individuals with the correct qualifications and asking them to commit so far in advance was extremely difficult. It was during my time at the office on Wednesdays that I came to the realization that recruitment for Camp Barnabas can be compared to embarking on the long road trip. So why were these difficulties occurring? I reached out to Barnabas employees and completed my own research to discover this. I discovered that these recruitment challenges occur because working at camp is such a large time commitment and many of the individuals being targeted may not even be looking for this position in the first place. So who may not know about this position but would automatically possess the correct qualifications and be interested in this position if it were presented to them? I thought back to my time at day camp when I connected with a paid intern who had just graduated from the University of Tennessee with a major in therapeutic recreation. Therapeutic recreation uses activity-based interventions to assess the needs of individuals with special needs, improve their psychological and physical health, recovery, and well-being. This is significant because I will actually be attending the University of Tennessee starting next fall to swim and hopefully major in therapeutic recreation. When I was on my visit in Knoxville, I learned about this new major and decided that it was a career path I saw for my future. These individuals already have a passion for working in the special needs community, but why didn't any of them know about Camp Barnabas and how could we use them to improve recruitment for Camp Barnabas? This leads me to my final solution, which is a literal recruitment road trip for Camp Barnabas. This would include past staffers being hired by Camp Barnabas to travel to different colleges around the country with therapeutic recreation programs. I also learned within my research that utilizing many relationships within your organization is an effective recruitment technique. So not only would we have past staffers travel, travel to these schools, we would also invite former campers and their families to travel along on a volunteer basis. This way, the students on campus would be able to learn and see just how life-changing Camp Barnabas can be from the campers themselves. My final solution is a proposal for Camp Barnabas that consists of my vision for how this event will effectively take place, information that can be advertised to students of the university and the public, a full itinerary and timeline of the event, and a list of schools and contacts that would be most appropriate for this event. This event would take place for multiple days in order to provide more opportunities for busy college students. Some of the items that are included on this itinerary include the sharing of testimonies, a panel for questions, camp-like activities, and a video synopsis of what camp is about. Here you can see a few highlights from my proposal and photos of my proposal, which also include the department head names, email addresses, and phone numbers for the schools that would be targeted. During a road trip, sometimes the trip can be smooth and flat and enjoyable, but other times it can be bumpy and hilly and filled with potholes. This is exactly how recruitment can be described for Camp Barnabas. But I've learned that the steeper the hill, the more worth it the view is at the top. I'm extremely grateful to have taken this road trip with Kickapoo U, and I'm even more grateful to have taken it with Camp Barnabas. Thank you for listening to my journey. We've now made it to our final destination.